I'm at a gypsy. And speaking of endurance racing, so it's finally officially announced that J-Dub is your yeah. partner. Yeah. What, was there like a long list you were going through? Or no, like not what at all. was the delay? <laughs> well, I mean, it was always... Why does he delay it every time? Yeah, yeah, man, I saw some funny stuff when they announced it because he was like, you know, it was a team decision and all that, which we all knew he was going to do it again. Yeah, like, yeah. It was just a thing. There was people saying like, oh, did he email himself saying congratulations and all <laughs> yeah. this stuff? <laughs> but um, no, sent, sent his own resume yeah. to himself. Yeah, I mean, he tested at Sydney at the start of the year and yeah, it was always happening or just... I think I said it in the post-race interview after Perth. I was like, I got a good co-driver and then we're like, oh, we better announce it then. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, right. So what, what's it like uh, driving with J-Dub in these, uh, these endurance races and like... Do you feel like this year you can kind of muscle him a bit more? Like last year, you probably had to just be like, okay, whatever, Mr. Mister Wink Cup, whatever you feel like. Now you're like, no, nah, no, it's my car, right? We'll, we'll do it my way. Well, I suppose it's quite different. You know, I did the 1000 with him last year, but this year we got two races. So the Sandown 500 and Bathurst, but... He's the king of Sandown. Yeah. yeah. Like there's one track we always went to is my teammate. Sandown, he was, he was just insane <laughs> just don't say so, yeah, yeah that's if you good. want to swap for that one that's <laughs> no, good no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no richie's won there so yeah we, yeah no we, we got, got good we got good here. lineups but um <laughs> the i suppose the difference is this year is it's it is like he's coming into my car because he hasn't yeah. drove this so much so he drove it our last test day a couple of weeks back and like it's quite weird but you know when he comes in i'm like leaning in and telling him some tips of what yeah, i normally yeah. do and and what we've learned and I suppose he's trying to get his head around that, but um, no, nah, keen as like I just love working with him and going through how he operates on a race weekend, and to do it for Bathurst was awesome. But to have literally, you know, they're back to back rounds, but you got two months pretty much where we're going to be working super close together, and and with Shane and Richie as well, I suppose all of us are going to be working really close to, um, yeah, to try and get some good results and super close at the moment so it's really important to have a good co-driver and i think we've both got great ones yeah and i mean correct me if i'm wrong but there's probably a fair bit of development that can happen like in that two months where it's like two heads are better than one you know like yeah, you've, you've sure. got essentially yeah. four drivers like really really class drivers that are working with yourselves engineers like you can probably get some pretty big gains in those couple months yeah, like the experience that they both have and how Jamie's so used to refine cars in Triple Eight all his years and Richie's experienced so much around the world too. So they know what a good car should feel like or if it doesn't, how to make it better. It was cool to see, you know, they hadn't driven since Eastern Creek. They drove at the test the other week and some things they were pretty impressed with, with how they improve, particularly the throttle for Richie. He was really struggling at Eastern Creek. But then there's still a long way to go with some things. So um, Richie was a bit frustrated with some of it. Like, oh, why hasn't this improved? But he's still, you know, it's not like we stopped working at it. It just hasn't <laughs> yeah, happened yeah, yet. So, yeah. yeah, it's a cool process. And, you know, I think the cars have come forward a long way since they drove them. But yeah. still more to come. Yeah, and I think it's it would have to be frustrating <clears throat> as a driver to, like, not have the car that yeah. you want or, like, see the potential. But it, it has to be a cool process to like work with the engineers work with the shop like it's like when you're when you're busy at work the time goes quicker you know or it's yeah. like easy to enjoy yeah. when you're busy sometimes like if you're sitting around with nothing to do the and car's it's easy, perfect like easy to be complacent or get used to stuff like yeah. the steering you just go oh that's how it is and then richie gets in and goes oh why is it like that and then because you just forget about it and get used to it and just accept that that's the way it is yeah. so now you're like oh yeah we need to keep making that better because you've just accepted it i guess yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no that, that makes sense and mm. just the level of experience that j-dub has too like i'm sure like from a car point of view aside like just getting to spend time like around the energy that he brings on those weekends and in the prep like i'm sure there's probably a lot of learning that can take place when it comes to that yeah there is for sure and he's been like super open to me like about the past 18 months and really opened up and given me, you know, a lot of his personal prep and all that stuff that he goes through. But I never got to experience what he was like on a race weekend and to work with him last year was awesome. But I feel like this year we're 
we're definitely i think we'll be a lot more prepared and and a better combo this year because i've got a little bit more experience and we can bounce ideas together but it's just super cool working with him and the big one for him like he's so he's so particular with everything that he does and like last year he'd sit in my car and he's like why is that like that why is that like that why is that like that and i'm like oh i didn't really think about that yeah thankfully he sort of got in this year and i suppose i've started thinking about that and he gets in the car now and feels super comfortable so for me that's a tick i feel like we've improved on stuff like that but uh it's cool to see how he operates on a race weekend we are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site gypsytales.com packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else this is your chance to become a part of the gypsy gang and as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang. 